up everybody and welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for joining me today and in today's video i know i started my intro a little bit late but that was because i just wanted you guys to really enjoy the music that i had going on but besides that if you read that title you know in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i prepare my home for when we have guests now we don't have guests often but when we do i always want to make sure my house is nice and tidy and smells fresh Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but every time I clean the bathroom, I always feel just kind of a little gross and my shirt always seems to get a little too wet. So I did end up changing my shirt just because I just needed to change it. Um, and I actually ended up leaving um, right after I ended up filming this. But um, besides all of that, I'm gonna just go ahead and head into the kitchen. Now that the bathroom is clean, I wanna make sure all the common areas that people will either be using or seeing is nice and tidy. And then we're gonna get into the fun stuff. So if you guys like what you see so far, please hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell button so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Thank you. 
So like always, everything that I'm using will be down in the description for you guys. But for your convenience, I am using the Branch Basics spray bottle. Um, it was actually time for a refill and I am not using their solution. I am actually using the South Suds solution from Dr. Bronner's and I'm just diluting it. Basically copying the Branch Basics um, concept and just using water and soap. And to be honest, I really, really like the Sal Suds a lot better just because one of the scent, it just has that fresh clean scent to it and it made everything really sparkly clean and shining. So I might be switching over, I'm not sure. Uh, I still am a really good fan of Branch Basics, but you know, we all have our favorites.
Okay, so the one thing that I like to do when hosting or at least knowing when I'm gonna have guests over, I like to make sure that all the windows are nice and clean. Um, it's just one of those things that um, I picked up from my mom whenever she's having a party or having guests over, she hires someone to come and clean the windows at her house. Um, I don't have that type of money or, <laughs> you know, that type of, you know, home to be doing all of that. I just got a couple of windows, literally these two. And so I just kind of do it myself and I just get the job done. I know the guests, your guests probably won't even notice, but little touches like this is what makes you a great host. Okay, so now that the common areas are nice and picked up, I'm gonna go ahead and sweep and mop, and then I'm gonna take it a little step further. I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo the rug that's in the living room because this is a common area. Now, of course, your guests may not even notice that you are putting in all of this work, but it does definitely feels good to just, you know, be able to have people over and to be in a clean home. I mean, who wants to go to someone's home and it's filthy? Okay, so I have a goal that I wanna be shampooing my carpets at least once a month. Um, we don't have a lot of carpet. Um, we just have this rug and then in the bedroom. So it's not really a lot, um, especially because it's not like a major big house. But um, besides all of that, um, the last time I shampooed the carpets last month, literally a day after I had shampooed it, my son put a marker or left a marker on the floor opened and it just kind of stained and i just didn't have the energy to spot treat it but today i'm definitely going to be doing that i'm using the seventh generation laundry stain remover and i'm going to top it off with some baking soda now typically when i have a stain on the floor and i want to spot treat it i usually just use white vinegar with baking soda but i didn't have any more um white vinegar so this actually worked like a charm i really don't have any complaints about it um, I don't really know all the ingredients in it but you know it is what it is
Okay, so just the last few touches. Um, I know people like to use plugins. I usually don't typically like to use plugins. I only use them really when we do have company. Otherwise, I am just using a diffuser to make the house most nice and fresh. So that wraps up today's video thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure to like this video if you thought this video was helpful in any way and comment down below i love chatting with you guys also share with your friends or whoever you think might find this video helpful and until next time i will see you guys soon bye